If you've ever done yoga before, you know that not all yoga mats are created equal. Each style and material caters to a different set of needs and goals, and subtle design changes can either help or hurt your unique movement patterns and your usual aches and pains in any pose. Before we get started with our video detailing the best yoga mats on the market, we have included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting off with the best overall yoga mat, we have the Manduka Pro Lite. When it's time to trade in those bargain yoga steels for the yoga mat that's built to last, the Manduka Pro Lite yoga mat is the way to go. Whether you're practicing yoga daily or just stretching out once in a while, the 4.7mm thick padded mat will keep your hands, knees, and feet cushioned against any hard floor and will support your back as you relax into Savasana. In comparison to the Manduka Pro's 6mm of padding, the Manduka Light Mat sheds thickness without sacrificing comfort. It's much easier to roll up and take with you than the thicker Manduka Pro Mat. If this is your first investment in a well-made yoga mat, you might balk at the price tag standing above the $20 mark. However, the Manduka Pro Light Mat comes with a lifetime guarantee, so you're safe from losing your mat to flaking, peeling, and fading. Whereas some mats deteriorate over time, Manduka promises that this one will only improve like a well-seasoned cast iron pan. In my 13 years of practicing yoga, I much prefer a mat that wicks away moisture, sweat, and dirt instead of absorbing it into the material. The Manduka Pro Light's closed cell surface does just that, and the mat is easy to clean and treat. Vinegar and sea salt are recommended to help break in the mat's texture and restore grippiness to the surface. The more serious you get with your yoga practice, chances are a non-slip surface will rise to the top of your priority list. Contrary to what you might see on Instagram, even yogis sweat. And there's nothing quite like sliding out of downward facing dog into a flat pancake because you can't keep your hands in place on your mat. Reviewers give the Manduka Pro Lite high compliments when it comes to the mat's non-slip texture. Manduka boasts that its proprietary dot pattern bottom prevents the mat from sliding across the floor, no matter how hot your yoga room gets. Manduka makes the Pro Lite mat in two lengths, 71 and 79 inches, so that more height gifted yogis can stretch out without fear. Considering that most color and length options stay below $80 on this mat, it feels like a cherry on the cake to see that the mat is completely non-toxic, 100% latex free, and even promises a clean manufacturing process. When you're ready to invest in a mat that will last a lifetime and treat your yoga body along with it, the Manduka Pro Lite is your best bet. Next up, we have the best yoga mat for perfectionists, which goes to the Lifeform mat. No matter what kind of yoga you do, proper alignment is an important part of learning the poses and their transitions. The first thing you'll notice about the Lifeform mat is discrete lines, shapes, and markers are etched into the surface to help you place your limbs accurately and mindfully as you move through your practice. Lifeform's mat is also slightly longer and wider than most traditional yoga mats, so you'll never feel cramped or confined. Alongside alignment, the Lifeform mat's other major benefit is the grippy surface. Through its commitment to eco-friendly materials, Lifeform created a proprietary, grip-for-me material blend of natural rubber and sustainably sourced felt to cushion your knees, hips, and hands with 4.2 millimeters of padding. The mix also keeps you from slipping and sliding while the sweating starts. Continuing the eco-friendly trend, each layer of the PVC-free mat is heat-bonded to avoid toxic glues and adhesives, and even the alignment marking system is etched into the surface to avoid synthetic dyes. Reviewers report that the surface of the Lifeform mat is so grippy that you won't be able to glide into Downward Facing Dog anymore, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So if a sticky, non-slip surface is your idea of the perfect yoga mat, the Lifeform mat will do the trick. It's not hard to imagine the alignment system on the Lifeform mat getting distracting, and, of course, Everybody is unique. These days, many yogis shy away from the stereotype that you have to be fit and flexible to practice. But if your limbs happen to line up with the printed system, and you're looking to go deeper into perfect alignment, the Lifeform mat is the one for you. And it comes with a cool Lifeform yoga bag. It is really expensive though, so you'll have to shell out a pretty penny for it. Up next, we have the best yoga mat for the eco-friendly yogi, which goes to the Prana Eco Yoga Mat. Synthetic materials and unnatural rubbers used in yoga mats fell out of favor in the yoga community as the practice spread internationally alongside global concerns about the state of our environment. Prana is a recognizable yoga brand name, and the Eco Yoga Mat ranks high on many experts' lists. Since it's made from 100% thermoplastic, elastomer, or TPE, all the environmental costs of manufacturing synthetic rubbers and plastics are eliminated from the Prana Eco Mat equation. Once you're ready to toss your mat out, the material is completely recyclable, so it won't clog up a landfill somewhere. TPE is also UV resistant, so your Prana Eco Mat won't fade or deteriorate with sun exposure. It's completely latex-free, chloride-free, and PVC-free. 
The best benefit of TPE is that it's extremely lightweight. A 72 by 24 inch mat with a thickness of 5 millimeters still weighs in at only 2.2 pounds. On the yoga benefits side, the Eco Yoga mat is known to be super sticky, so your hands and feet won't slide. But the TPE material may not be the most cushioning option for those looking to protect their knees and backs from the hard pressure of the floor. The mat is double-sided though, so you can rotate front to back and top to bottom to get a seriously long-term even wear on your mat, even with heavy use. Even if you're just looking for a lighter mat or an eco-friendly option to shake things up, at less than $50, the Prana Eco Mat is a low-cost way to try something new. Next, we have the best yoga mat for yogis on a budget, which goes to the Gaiam Print Premium. The first thing you'll notice about the Gaiam Print Premium yoga mats is the selection of colors and prints you can choose from. There's something soothing about practicing on a mat printed with peacock feathers or a perfectly symmetrical mandala pattern in bright pastel greens and pinks or soothing shades of gray. Of course, the main benefit of this mat is the price point. $21.99 is an affordable option compared to some of the other top-ranked yoga mats out there. Even so, this mat still bears the Gaiam name, which is respected and trusted in the yoga community. The mat is 5mm thick, so you'll feel cushioned and padded, but the PVC material keeps it lightweight and portable. Although there's no definitive scientific research about the dangers of PVCs that permeate the yoga community, this mat is still free of the six specific PVC materials that have been banned by Congress for use in children's toys and other consumer goods, so you don't have to take any chances. One thing to plan for, this mat won't last forever. In addition to your basic yoga mat wear and tear, both the material and the printed design are susceptible to sun damage, but you're not spending a fortune on it, so don't stress. The Gaiam Print Premium Mat's non-slip surface will work well for most casual users, but if you sweat a lot during your practice, you may need more traction and a grippier surface than this mat offers. As an introduction to your yoga practice without a hefty investment, or even as a backup choice for when the heavy-duty mat is dying, the Gaiam Print Premium is a solid option. And for our last pick, we have the best lightweight yoga mat, which goes to the Manduka's EKO Super Light. When you're on the go, roughing it with a borrowed or rented yoga mat can be awkward, a little stinky, or just downright gross. Travel mats hit the scene so jet-setting yogis and nature lovers alike could pack their mats without the bulk of thick, padded mats they might use when practicing at home. The Manduka EKO Super Light Travel Mat is the lighter, thinner version of Manduka's top-rated EKO option, so it's a winner all around. The Manduka EKO Super Light Travel Mat is made of a woven scrim material that won't tear or stretch either with use or in your suitcase. It's thin enough to be foldable, so you can tuck away the mat into your backpack or your carry-on without added weight or bulk. The woven material still features a sweat-resistant closed-cell design, so your mat will stay drier and cleaner for longer, without soaking up sweat or environmental moisture from wherever you happen to be traveling. Speaking of environmentalism, the Manduka EKO Superlight is made from natural rubber that is specifically not harvested in the Amazon. Do yoga, protect the rainforests. And while you're practicing yoga in the rainforest on your natural rubber travel mat, you'll benefit from Manduka's trademark grippiness. It's an affordable option, but the mat isn't perfect for every environment because of its lightweight flexibility. If you're a heavy sweating yogi, the Manduka EKO Super Light may not grip enough to keep you from slipping. So that sums up our top yoga mats of 2019. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.